I think it's an illusion. Nothing is real. I've had people go through the death experiences, and after they've died and they're on the spirit side, they look back at the life and they'll say, it was just a play. I can see all the actors on stage getting ready to come out and play their parts. I can see the actors in the wings getting ready to come on. And they said, but when I was there, it was so hard and so difficult. But now that I'm on the other side, it was like a blink of an eye. We get caught up in the illusion. So you are the producer, director, and actor in your own play. You're also the script writer. But the script is being written as it goes along. You know what that means? You can change the script anytime you want. You're the writer. You're the actor. You don't like the way the scene is going? Change it. This is how much power we have and we don't realize it. So you're just an actor wearing a costume to play this part. But when God burst out and sent everyone out, he said, go, my children, and learn. Learn everything there is to learn. Have every experience there is to experience. He said, there is no bad, there is no good. There's only lessons and experiences. And you choose these every time you come into a life. Most important message of this video is to remember that we chose this, right? We chose to come here to Earth School. We chose to learn these experiences. And most of us, at some point, actually not most, I believe that all of us at some point are going to have to evolve and get to that place of realization. You know, we're going to eventually reach a certain state of consciousness where we have full awareness of why we are here. But it is said that, and this was from Dolores Cannon, but multiple other spiritual teachers as well, that Earth School is a part of many different other schools. And Earth School is essentially, the rule of Earth School is that we forget. So we come here and we forget who we are. And part of this game that we're playing is to remember. So this is why most of us eventually are led down the spiritual path because the spiritual path is the waking up. So if you are going through an awakening, if you feel like your life is falling apart, if you feel like you no longer resonate with the people around you, if you feel like you hate your job and it's not what you wanna be doing, it's not part of your purpose, this is all a sign that you are waking up and there's nothing wrong with this. But I think when our egoic construct and our personality is starting to crumble, right? So the false sense of self is starting to crumble. We get really fearful because we often as humans, and it's a fear-based thing, we want to know what's coming next. Many of us have a fear of the unknown. And so when our ego is dying, we're in this place of darkness temporarily and we can't necessarily see where we're heading. And so we have to have this level of faith that something better is coming. I've personally found on my path that when I release my mind's perception of what spirituality is, because this is also something that happens. Many of us, when we go through an awakening, we start to create a spiritual ego where you'll see this a lot where spiritual people will sort of put down other people and call, you know, those who are not awakened sheep and things like this, which is really just spiritual ego. It's another way of the ego identifying itself through spirituality. So it's not really true spirituality because when we are truly embodied in our truth, there is no judgment. There is no separation. We recognize that I may be on this path right now, and that person over there that I'm connected to may not be on the same path, but they are a part of me. They are me. We come from the same place. We come from source. And so I know that especially, you know, when we get into conflict with people, when we have relationship breakdowns, it is so easy to look at someone and think, wow, look at all of these faults. But the reality is, is that we all came here to learn, to grow and to evolve. Some of us are further along on our spiritual journeys to our truth than others. But the reality is, is that we all have the same end goal in mind, meaning that every single person on planet Earth wants to step into their divinity, wants to step into their power. And we all have the ability to do this. And many of us, when we come into this physical world, we come into this physical experience, we forget our power. So if you are someone who is awake, if you are someone who has ascended, I recommend being a beacon of light, sharing your truth, 
spreading your message or even just embodying that energy itself because when people see you and when people are around you, when you're embodying the energy of pure consciousness, you can't help but affect those around you. So if you're feeling lost and you're feeling confused and you're feeling like you're stuck in life, remember, you decided to come here. So because you decided to come here, you have that wisdom within you. All of those answers as to why you came here are inside of you. And the way to access that is to remove those layers of the ego and the mind that are blocking you from seeing that truth. So if you guys need assistance with this, I do have something called an ultimate spiritual reboot. So this is a series of all of the courses that I've created, both written and video content. It is now 40% off for a limited time. If you're interested in this, the information is going to be down below. In addition, I do offer one-on-one -on -one personal coaching. If you're really wanting to take your spiritual journey to the next level. So I have a three week program and a six week program and all the information will be down below. But I want to thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you soon. Take care.